That you need. You'll hear more about him a little bit later on tonight. But right now, we're going to switch gears, and I believe we're going to go to Jay Hogate of the SECSportsReport.com. Hey, hey, how you doing? I'm doing great, Ron. Um, I might have to check out your um, sponsor. Ever since um, you guaranteed that Marcus Lattimore is going to South Carolina, all these Auburn fans have been sending me all these threats and emails. Well, just uh, don't give out my address. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at your website. There it is on the front page where I had guaranteed that uh, Marcus Lattimore would be going to South Carolina. He will make that decision next Tuesday night uh, at his church. Ron, um, I, I posted our interview on YouTube last week, and um, it turns out that you're a star. I got uh, we got 2,700 hits on that thing so far. <laughs> well, 2,100 people, 2,700 people said, "Who is that idiot?" <laughs> I can tell you, a decent decent portion of them are Auburn fans that uh, that had had quite to say about uh, you and I talking about it, but. Um, you know, I don't think they understand this situation and, and who's involved here and the local appeal that he has. And I think that's the reason. And, and or maybe they just they just want him to go to Auburn that bad and they don't really care. But um, it's, uh, you know, I got I got uh, probably 1,300 hits on it yesterday, 1,300 views on YouTube, which is pretty good. So um, – I hadn't put your phone number on there yet, and um, you know we're just uh, we're taking it a day at a time right now. But I'm gonna get me a shotgun. I don't know if I need to get it uh, registered with your friend there, your sponsor or not, but I, I probably need to get one loaded. Well, you know what, Jay? If I'm wrong, uh, gosh, what you, uh, you know? I don't know. I've never. You're gonna if you're wrong, you're gonna have to wear an Auburn hat for at least two days. No, I don't mind that. I like Auburn. Uh, the reason I say that, I had an uncle that lived in Alexander City, Alabama, which was 30 miles from Auburn, Auburn University, uh, down on Lake Martin. A lot of times I would go down there and maybe fish, then go over to a uh, an Auburn baseball game or something like that. So I tell you what, I love Auburn University. I really do. Well, it's too late for your apologies now, Ron. I'm the one that's getting all the bad emails. Uh, <laughs> You know, maybe uh, maybe I'll be wrong, and uh, all the Auburn people can you know, laugh at me. But I'm not worried about 2,700 Auburn people. I'm worried about all the thousand of uh, South Carolina and upstate people that I have to see every day. That says, man, you lost your mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. I'm with you. But um, it, it's going to be interesting. It's um, you know, there, there's a whole lot of stuff out there about him. Um, I did a radio interview with some guys in Columbia. Uh, I guess it was yesterday and posted on YouTube as well and it hadn't done nearly as well as your stuff Ron you know just want to let you know that but uh, getting getting a lot of uh, I told the Auburn fans at the very beginning of it I said you're not going to enjoy this video so just don't even watch it you know this is not meant for you it's it's really a South Carolina video so um, but anyway anybody googling Marcus Lattimore on YouTube it'll it'll pick up both interviews well the good thing about it is uh, and the video is the view. My picture is not on there. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I... <laughs> uh, we're going we're gonna to use the Magnum PI picture of you. That way, if anybody sees you out, they won't, they won't recognize you. That's true. <laughs> we can go with that right there. But uh, doesn't, it, uh, doesn't it to you, uh, I mean, gosh, if South Carolina was to lose that recruit battle after having this kid for, for over two years, uh, what does that mean? What, I mean, to, what would that mean to that program? It, it, it would definitely be a, uh, a heartbreaking moment for uh, many Gamecock fans. Um, I, I don't think uh, I, I don't know I don't know what that do I mean I, I just think they, they got they're counting on this guy coming in they, they need them they, they need uh, they need some rushing going on that program in, in a big way so I, I don't know I, I don't even want to think about that I, you know um, they had that C strunk who who had initially was real interested in Auburn he actually committed to Oregon today. And actually, Auburn was not on his top two list. Southern Cal was his other team. So um, he's off the list. They're still looking at D.J. Howard, who I think Clemson uh, talked to this weekend. So 
it, you know, who knows what's going on. But, you know, I, I read a lot about it, and uh, about five days ago, it seemed like things were tended to lean a little more toward Auburn with Lattimore. In the last couple of days, it seems like it switched back over to South Carolina. So I think at this point, it's South Carolina's man to lose. And um, it's going to be a sad day. If they lose, if they don't get him and, and they don't get him booked in, he's not. they're not going to be uh, – you know, signed up on on recruiting day, I think they're going to be real disappointed. Yeah. Well, of course, if, if, if Lattimore did go to Auburn, then I think Howard goes to Clemson. Maybe so. Maybe so. I mean, yeah. And 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 Howard could be very well waiting on that to find out where Lattimore's going. Oh, I'm sure Lattimore again will announce it. I want to say it's 6 o'clock or, yeah. or somewhere like that at his church. I know if I was that pastor... I would pass that off from plate that night. <laughs> oh, yeah, two times. A lot of visitors in that church. Yes, sir. You might want to pass that two times. That's right. And, yeah, I would, I, would, I would have a love offer for myself. <laughs> yeah. One, one for Lottie Moon and one for everybody. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I would just, I really, you know, I've been saying it for over two years. I think that, and, you know, I, maybe I'm wrong. If, I, if I'm wrong, you know, it won't be the first time. And uh, I can take it, so I'm not really worried about it. That's just my, my feeling, my gut feeling. I've been around him. I've seen things that he's done, people that he's talked to. And um, everything to me indicates that, that he's going to South Carolina. I hear you. I, I, I believe the same thing. I, I just... I, I, I just am of the belief that if he's given the announcement at his church, that he's staying in state. If he gives it at his school, he goes out of state. That, because again, if, if he went down to uh, Auburn, Alabama to make that a Exactly. I feel, if I'm the Tiger fan, I feel pretty good. You know, uh, 